It is here. My LG GX945 GX950A 5K 2K Ultra Wide Monitor. I've been wanting a 5K 2K Ultra Wide for quite a while. And I was excited when this monitor debuted at CES. I thought, well, that's just about exactly what I'm looking for. I've been using an ultra wide for four years, and I've really grown to like that format. And so I wanted a replacement monitor, a 5K 2K monitor, to replace my 3440 by 1440 ultra wide. Here I have accessories, probably cables, power supply. Clip. Not sure what that's for. And this is either an HDMI or a DisplayPort cable. Don't know which one yet. Looks like looks like HDMI. I got a USB C cable, and I believe this is the DisplayPort cable, and this is DisplayPort 2.1, and that was important. That was a something I wanted in the monitor. Here's the power supply. That's a big one. It's heavy. Probably weighs three or four pounds. Big power supply. And power supply cable. And here we have the monitor stand. So I'll get those parts out. This thing's heavy. This base plate's really heavy. And this piece will attach to the back of the monitor. All right, so this will attach to the back of the monitor, and then the base will attach here. And here's the monitor base. Now, I really like this base because the footprint is really small. It's heavy, so I don't think it'll have a problem holding the monitor up. But the footprint's really small, so it's not going to take up a bunch of space on my desk. So I like that. And here's the back cover for the monitor. That'll hide all the cable connections. So I'll probably connect my cables and then attach this after that. All right, the connections on the monitor, there's two HDMI ports, display port, USB-C, two USB type A's. Now, I don't know if those are for data or if they're just for power. Power connector. I think what I'll do is I'll attach the stand before I try to take it out of the box. I think it'd be easier to get it out and handle it that way. That was pretty easy. It just snaps into place. The base has two captured screws here. Just flip these tabs up to turn the screws in. And so now I'll lift the monitor out of the box. Oh, it's 
It's heavy. With my new computer build, I want to up the resolution of the monitor to true 4K, or in this case, 5K, 2K. And so I'm going to replace the 34-inch AOC monitor with the 45-inch LG 5K, 2K ultrawide. Now I spent the money for... Uh, third-party DisplayPort 2.1 cable and this is a Silkland you can see it's P80 VESA certified cable I don't want to have any issues with the graphics card connecting to the monitor so I decided to go ahead and buy a third-party cable All right, I have my DisplayPort 2.1 cable, my USB-C cable, and power supply cable all run and ready to plug into the monitor. Everything's plugged in. I have the monitor turned on, and it's looking pretty nice. The first thing I would recommend doing is doing an image cleaning. Now, when I first got my monitor, I had some lines across the center of the display and after doing the image cleaning it took all that and made it perfect. I do some productivity work with my computer. I have a small YouTube channel so I do video editing just about every week and even though the monitor has a pretty sharp 800R curve I didn't find it to be an issue using DaVinci Resolve. I also use Blender to do some 3D modeling and I do some 3D printing. And here is an example. I made a small GPU stand for my Zotac 5080. But I don't find that the 800R curve is an issue using Blender either. Something I would recommend doing before playing games is setting the resolution of the game to the same as the monitor, 5120 by 2160. I tried playing Baldur's Gate 3 without making that change and I couldn't see the game because it was set to my previous resolution of 3440 by 1440. I have an RTX 5080 so I used the NVIDIA app and I went in and manually changed the resolution of the game and once I did that it worked perfectly. Once I changed the resolution settings in the NVIDIA app I went ahead and opened my games up and went into the options and checked everything. Here you can see I have a 5080 and it shows the LG monitor, shows the resolution, shows the aspect ratio. I think it's interesting it automatically calculated the aspect ratio. And the settings are set as high as Baldur's Gate 3 has. I used MSI Afterburner to check my stats while playing Baldur's Gate 3. Now I'm an older guy, I'm 68, so I don't play first person shooters or real fast action games. All my games are essentially turn based. And Baldur's Gate 3 would be the most demanding game that I have as far as GPU usage. So I wanted to see what the stats were wanted to know what, how much VRAM it was going to take, how much power my 5080 Health. would be using. Just woke up down here. 
I also wanted to know what my CPU usage was. Advantage. I have a 9950X3D. The system RAM I would use. Now the LG 45GX950A has approximately 7.4 million pixels. I had a little bit of concern that the 5080 was going to be able to drive that in ultra settings. But you can see with the frame rates I have, it had absolutely no trouble with it. So I think if someone had a 5070 Ti or a Radeon 9070 XT, they could play Baldur's Gate 3 with ultra settings with the LG GX 950A and not have any issues. You'd be able to play it with a, a frame rate that would be perfectly acceptable. Now this is my first OLED monitor and you know some people have mentioned that the matte coating on the display isn't optimum that with the glossy coating the colors will be better but I have to say I thought the colors were very bright and coming from the monitor that I have I think it's a vast improvement and the resolution improvement along with the display size makes for a pretty good experience now one thing I probably will change is I might knock the gamma down a little bit it's just a little bit too bright I think I might want to darken it up just a bit but overall it's been a great experience and it looks absolutely fantastic these mortals be. A 
lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. The monitor works great for watching YouTube or if you have a streaming video service like Amazon Prime or something like that. If you want to watch different movies or shows, the monitor is great for that. The images look, look terrific. The LG GX950A, I think that caps off my system as a pretty well complemented by my new build. I have a Gigabyte 870E motherboard, 9950X3D CPU, 64 gigabytes of RAM, the Zotac Amp Extreme Infinity 5080, Height Y70 case. Height Q60 AIO with an additional set of height fans. So the AIO is set up in a push pull configuration. So I'm really happy with the monitor and my new system is working well. So I'm pleased. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful to you if you're considering buying an LG GX950A. Ultra wide monitor. Thanks for watching.